Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Uh, yeah. Aren't you excited? I do this every day, so the excitement wears off after a while. The magic is worn off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, I know there's going to be crappy things pretty much weekly, so. Uh, so we're going to talk about Disney Plus and this article on the information, which kind of sat out there for a couple weeks before people paid attention to it. Uh, Motley Fool called attention to it today and said, hey, if you're banking on Disney Plus, you might want to walk that back. We know that Disney stock, uh, you know, blew up after Black Widow, after Disney bragged about their Black yeah, Widow numbers. Yeah, I thought that was such an increase for something so, you know, minor. Yeah, it was, you know, look, this was this was calculated, I'm sure. They sent the press releases out and they were like, oh yeah, trust us, it made $60 million on Disney Plus, guys. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it looks like Disney Plus is slowing down. And according to the information, now, again, this is a website that, they do have inside information. They are the ones who called the Crunchyroll sale months before mm -hmm. anybody else knew anything about it. They said that internally at Disney, people are freaking out. But we've heard this from other people though. Yeah. We've heard it in our, in our sources uh, over at PMP and stuff, we've heard something similar. Yeah, that they are, they're freaking out because they have basically hit a ceiling on the number of subscribers interested in Disney Plus as it currently is here, you know, in the Western world. Now they're trying to push Hotstar more in India, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, Disney Plus being family friendly, you know, unlike Netflix where Netflix goes, you know, hard R or MA or whatever, uh, Disney Plus is going to hit this ceiling, and um, you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens long term. Well, I think long term they're going to take some of these these things that they're planning and they're going to put on Disney Plus, even though they've touted it as family because they keep going on and on and on about how many subscribers they have don't have kids. Yeah. Like they're surprised by this. This doesn't surprise me at all. Actually, if you hang around any of the, the cosplay boards or different groups, like how they love to go to Disney and they don't have, they're single or they're just married or, you know, have a, a partner and they don't have children all the time. Not surprised at all, but they keep touting it over and over and over again. Like it's a big shocker for them. So I a hundred percent think that's what they're going to do. Oh yeah. Yeah. No doubt. So we're going to talk about that before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 206,000 subs. Uh, thank you. We do talk about Disney, uh, having worked in and around the company for a number of years, and, and Geeky still does uh, manage a Disney mm -hmm. blog. Yes, we actually say good things at sometimes if you go to the Disney blog, but yeah. you know. Uh, that's at piratesandprincesses.net. But let's talk about this first, and then we'll talk about Motley Fool, which is uh, very different from what the sites were saying yesterday. Yesterday, CNBC was like, Disney's coming back better than ever, guys, because Black Widow made a bunch of money and the parks are open. Everything's great. The increase they were saying was not, it was awfully high for just that. Yep. Uh, so they said the slowdown in the number of Disney Plus subscribers is, is going to intensify because, you know, they don't appeal to a wide enough group of people. Uh, Disney had a little more than 110 million subs uh, late in Disney's third fiscal quarter, which ran through early July. Um, they were expecting to hit that sooner. And they're talking about how they're rolling the uh, hot star numbers mm -hmm. in there too. They roll a lot of things in there. And then they will not give you individual numbers based on certain things. Like they'll tell you at the investor calls. Well, mm -hmm. they don't make that information public. Well, they said that India is the third biggest individual, or no, it's the biggest individual country for Disney Plus, accounting for more than a third of the total subscribers. Dang. Yeah, so India's growth poses a challenge for Disney as many subscribers in India pay the equivalent of 45 cents a month compared with the $8 a month. Well, yeah, of course they have a lot of people there and they're only paying 45 cents a month. I'd pay 45 cents a month for Disney Plus. So they're only paying 45 cents a month. So they both subscriber numbers, but what's the revenue? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's interesting. I did not know that until I read this, that no. they were paying so little. So it means revenue growth will slow even more than subscriber growth. And that they're also, you know, giving Disney Plus away. They're yeah, I've mentioned that many times. Why are they doing this? Why are they giving six-month free trials? Well, they're hoping you'd forget and then you can keep charging you. But they're trying to, to get those numbers in there. And if you look, these numbers always, these, these free trials always appear around a time that a quarter's, the quarter's going to start or, you know, going to end. Uh, their new one is they're doing Amazon uh, Music through Amazon Prime. They're giving mm -hmm. out, you know, if you're an existing customer, I think you get three months free. If you're a 
new customer, you can get six months free, only for new customers joining Disney Plus, by the way. Right. They've done it with Verizon. They've done it with different places. I know Ibotta Ibot was even using some kind of discount advertising for like one of their movies recently. So basically what they're doing is they're trying to get people to sign up for free because they're counting those people as paid subscribers. Because even with like Verizon, somebody was paying them something. So technically they were paid. It just wasn't like Verizon worked on something with them. So, you know, that's what they do to try to, to massage the numbers. So what's going on here is you probably have investors doing the math being like, well, we've got 110 million people at eight bucks a head. Wait, something doesn't add up. Something doesn't add up. But yeah, and you're starting to see now that a lot of people are paying much, much less for it. Um, so they said revenue growth is going to slow. If the trend continues, Disney could find it harder to get the streaming service to break even than it expects. It's again, Disney's in the hole for Disney Plus. People don't realize how much money they spent to get this thing up and running compared to their competitor Fox, who took their money and went and bought Tubi. It was already built. Just mm -hmm. saying, they didn't have to build it from scratch. They could have just bought an existing service. A Disney spokesperson said in a statement, "This information contains factual inaccuracies and does not reflect the performance of the service." But she declined to elaborate. They okay. They do this a lot. Um. They, like you're wrong, but we're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you why. Like right now, if you go to piratesandprincesses.net, um, one of the stories I just covered is Disney is in a lawsuit with the appraiser, the, the, the you know property valuations and tax assessments and that kind of stuff in Orlando. Um, they this was this happened before with the last guy. They they call they you know the raised heck and had you know everything changed. So, it, you know, to try to get their selves better deals, they didn't want them using certain things like their brand in you know, calculating their value when they want to use their brand to calculate value to charge everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, now they're suing another person for um, giving them property evaluations they don't like again. So it, the, the last person's gone. Now they got a new person. They're going after, you know, their office as well. Uh, my point is. When they were bringing up why they didn't they didn't believe the numbers, they wouldn't give specifics. It was very nebulous. Oh, because, you know, we're not going to elaborate. It, 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 there's inaccuracies here. And they use inaccuracies as well. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't say what the damn inaccuracies were. Yeah. Uh, that's how they do it. Disney, they, they only give you information. Basically, I don't like this. It doesn't paint the picture we want. Yep. It costs us more money. We don't want this. This isn't what we want out there. So it's, it's inaccurate. It's inaccurate. From our mouse point of view. From Mickey's point of view. Mickey's point of view. So they said that there were more downloads of the app when Loki came out. But well, again, obviously, people dial, they, and they'll cancel. They'll, they'll buy it for that and cancel. A lot of people do. They're like, we'll wait until, you know, WandaVision is over and then we'll download the app, do the trial, and then. Well, back get rid when of they, it. last year when they brought out Hamilton, before that, you could have like a week long trial of Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. um, they ended that because they people would just. Do the trial, watch oh, yeah. Hamilton, and, and then, you know, yep. end the trial. So people are just, you know, buying it while they want to watch something and then canceling it. And so the numbers are, you know, and then for that quarter, it might be like, yeah, we have this many subscribers that quarter. That doesn't mean that's what they ended with. It might have been at the height of that quarter yeah. we had when Loki was running, you yep. know, or something like that. Uh, signs that growth at Disney Plus were slowing were evident when the company reported its second fiscal quarter results in May. Mm -hmm. We did say that they were they missed their projections. Mm -hmm. And now if India makes up a third of their subscribers and they're only paying 45 cents a head, you know, that's that's a way different, way different than all those people paying eight bucks, mm -hmm. eight bucks a head. Analysts had expected the service would have reached 110 million subscribers by then roughly where it is now. So it took them until now a whole nother quarter uh, to get there. Well, it's also important to make sure you, you know, also, they're not going to, this isn't going to break even to their, what they think in 2026, something like that. The, it's uh, not going to break even to them because they're, they're, when they're getting this money and if they're only charging a third of their audience, like a fraction of everybody else is, getting, uh, is paying for it. They're, they're spending so much money on new content trying to boost these numbers up that they're not even keeping the money. They're like, they're they're going in the hole to keep the content up. And then they need to they need to get more and more out there. It costs money. They're not even expecting it profitable for a while yet. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. Now, they said that the churn's not as bad as it was before, but they said that uh, the slowdown coincides with the price increase. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's only a dollar. No one will care. Yeah, people care because they're tired of Disney adding a dollar here, a dollar there, you know, and they're getting tired of it. Yeah, and, you know, when there are so many other streaming services out there, they cost more. And, and what's going to happen? they're happen? better. And they're better. They've got more content. I mean, Netflix and HBO Max even, I, I could argue, has more content that would appeal to a broader we audience. We have Disney Plus and we very rarely watch it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, that's I mean, true. we do. We watch it. We have to cover something, but for the most part, I mean, there's stuff on there I will watch. I just forget about it. It's not my go-to. If I'm going to watch something, I will watch Hulu, which is also owned by Disney. But you know, there's other streaming services I will use a lot more. Disney Plus. Even my kids don't watch it most yeah. of the time. Uh, they said the slowdown and growth at Disney Plus reinforces long-standing questions about Disney's ability to expand the streaming service to its target of 230 million to 260 million subscribers by the end of 2024. Now, they are trying to do some some things overseas where they're getting rid of their Disney channels to yeah. try to force people onto Disney Plus to up those numbers. They'll just they'll just go to YouTube. They'll just go to But Netflix. that's what they're trying yeah. to do. They're trying to do whatever they can to force people to go to Disney Plus. And overseas, they've been, you know, shutting down Disney channels right and left, trying to get people to, to you know, if you want this, you go to Disney Plus. Now, this is, this is interesting. They said that there is a constant concern at Disney how to attract a broader group of people. So when you mm -hmm. see Disney go after a certain demographic, you know, especially when it comes to diversity and inclusion. That's exactly why they're doing it. Yeah. And we called this before, even with the Eternals, is like, why do they have a Bollywood number in the Eternals? Oh, because India. Mm -hmm. India is very important to them right mm -hmm. now. And uh, we're hearing it. We're hearing it from people that are sources on PMP too. the same things. They're pandering to certain groups on purpose because they're trying to, it's all about Disney Plus. Yeah. It's not about actual diversity and inclusion. I've said that several times. He has said that. Yeah, it's not about actual diversity and inclusion. It's about getting more people and uh, you have to get and this is why they pandered so hard to China. Mm -hmm. This is why I think you're going to see them pandering so hard to India because they want, you know, certain certain uh, demographics. Well, even their new movie that Turning Red, they just put the trailer out today. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it seems to be definitely you know based for Chinese. Oh yeah. Cuz it's been so done so well for them lately. Yeah, you know, right. They, they have Shang Chi. They they tried to make it for that. They hate it. They did Milan for that. They hated it. Um, now they've got Turning Red. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, yeah. So this is interesting. Motley Fool. Then they kind of they put this out today, which put this back on the the radar. It's funny with Motley Fool though. It's hit and miss. It depends who you yeah. get. If you get that Ricky, what's his nuts? He constantly is like kissing Disney's ass. It's so funny. And then other people will call Disney out. It just depends on who who's writing the article that day. Well, they were basically like, hey, not so fast, guys. The company overestimated how much uh, low-hanging streaming fruit was ripe for the picking. <laughs> I like that. That's uh, They were like, hey, we're Disney. We're gonna, just going to walk into this. And just think what would have happened if they had delayed Disney Plus for whatever reason for like six months. Just think about how screwed Disney would have been. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only thing that carried them through the pandemic. It is. Loans in Disney Plus. And even then, they're in debt up to their eyeballs for Disney well, Plus. Well, you think they're fighting things like paying taxes, you know, fair property taxes. Mm -hmm. But they, but uh, ironically, when you look at the tax bill for each of those parks, that's less than what they pay executives and, and you know, per performance bonuses. Yeah, that is true. Uh, so, yeah, so they're kind of flatlining. They need India right now and Hotstar to, to get their numbers up. Uh, Disney Plus average monthly revenue per paid subscriber. Look. Because we're adding in these people that are only paying 45 cents. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So now we're averaging four bucks. Their ARPU. Their ARPU was Yeah, they over, always say about ARPU. Was over five dollars. And it was going up and now it just dropped off a cliff because you got a bunch of people paying nothing or next to I nothing. Have, it's I know it's immature of me, but every time they say ARPU and the investor calls, I just was like just like our pool, our poo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, but I our love poo. this though. They said, yeah, never say never. Disney might find a way to reignite growth. This is coming from the Motley Fool. Yeah. They're going to start putting stuff on it. That's like R rated and stuff like that. Probably mm -hmm. try to appeal to more, more people. Um, they might, but it's truly slowing. Also bear in mind, all streaming platforms are making year over year comparisons with results generated during the pandemic. A lot of people were at home and that's not true. able to do that's anything. That's a valid point. More TV. That is a fair point. Uh, as the old adage goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. There's probably something to the suggestion that Disney Plus isn't growing as quickly as it was. Well, it's because of everyone, when, the people that you, the audience that was going to buy it pretty much have bought it. Yes. That's where they're yep. at. This happens to a lot of businesses. This is not unusual. I mean, if I'm being fair, um, you hit a cap and then your, your choice is to try to find a new audience to add in, try to find a different product that you can you know market to a different audience. I mean, any business hits this. Yeah. Um, and that's where we're going to have to see them go because they're going to have new markets too, which will up it. But that's only, that's limited as well. Yeah. So it's funny. They said if, if you bought Disney stock, believing the media giant can penetrate and then lead the streaming market based on management's aggr aggressive growth targets, you've got a lot to think about. Basically, they're never going to beat Netflix. It, it, I got it. 
It's funny though, when you listen to their investor calls, yeah, the other thing they keep talking about is penetration. They're talking about ARPU and penetration. And I have to sit there, me being me, and be good and be like, and I know it's very immature, I don't care. It's really funny when you're talking seriously about ARPU and the penetration, and I'm just like, Mickey's taking our poo out to the woodshed. Yeah, Mickey penetrates a lot of things. So we're going to wrap this Most one up. Most of your wallet. Uh, yeah, Mickey does. Mickey is very good. Very good. He's got very large hands, too. It's hard to pick pockets with. But does he do it with consent? That's the question. I don't know. If you're, you know what I mean? That's all that's what comes down to that. Just shut up and take it. Shut up and take it. That's right. He's going to take it. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Please yep. subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.